Hey guys, it's Hans Hobbies, and today the weather is amazing, so I thought I would shoot this outside. Um, and this is a kit that I finished last night. This is the Tamiya MF-01X, as you can kind of tell by the writing on the side. And this is the Rally Beetle version. Uh, the original release of the MF-01X was a Suzuki Jimny, and then they had like a, a Mercedes-Benz like G-Wagon Cabriolet. Um, and then this was the third version that came out, the Volkswagen Beetle Rally. And then now there's also a Ford Escort Rally available. And um, for, for you guys that follow my channel, um, you guys have seen the, probably have seen the unboxing video for this. I got this with my Sand Scorcher. Um, and I've been kind of, I've been kind of on a Beetle craze lately. So um, decided to build this one up. I've, I've, I've actually had one of these before, um, but I had converted it into a, um, well, originally I was going to make it into like a four-wheel drive, off-road, low-ride pumpkin, um, and then that didn't quite work out. So I ended up making it into a Scion XB drift car, and then I thought the Scion XB body is kind of weird to be a drift car, so I ended up putting a Tamiya M chassis um, uh, ND, MX-5 body on it, like the latest version of the Miata uh, body on it. And I drove it like that for a little bit and it, it was quite fun um, in, in the drift spec. But I never actually drove it as a rally car, so I wanted to kind of try it. And as soon as I sold that um, MF, uh, MF-01X that I used to have, I immediately regretted it. So I had to pick this one up and it was finally done. Um, the chassis has been done for a while, but I've been actually quite busy. Um, finishing up school and like job search and all that kind of stuff so I've been quite busy so I didn't really have a lot of time to paint and stuff like that but I managed to get this paint painted up last night um, for the most part it turned out the way I, I would have liked um, but I did have a little uh, uh, incident while I was detailing it so you can see the body has this matte finish all around it that's to me a f uh, flat clear that I put on the outside um, and originally the entire body was sprayed like that, but you can see the top, the white is glossy. And that's because um, I had tried to color, uh, paint these, paint the silver trim here, um, silver, with a uh, paint marker. And I ended up make, um, making a mistake and I tried to erase it. And I used um, off, like the mosquito repellent, um, because in previous experience, I found that that's pretty good at taking off like paint marker and um, Sharpie and stuff like that. So I used that, but unfortunately it was also pretty effective on the flat clear and it dissolved all of it. And it's kind of messy and gross. The window here has a big smudge on it now because the window's also been tinted with the Tamiya uh, uh, tint. So a little bit messy, but you know, it's whatever. It's a runner body. I don't really do shelf queens anyway, but for the most part, it's like from a nice like 10 foot distance, it looks pretty good. Um, so no real complaints there. Um, another change I made um, was the, as you can see, the wheels and tires are not stock. It does say Traxxas here on the sidewall. These are actually from the Latrax um, pre-runner or the Latrax, I think they call it the... Uh, I think they call it the pre-runner. Um, it's from that truck. And it's actually the same wheel and tire that's on the 116th scale Traxxas Slash. The only difference is the Latrax wheels um, obviously have different colors available and they don't have foams in them. If you get the Traxxas versions, they will have foams in them, but they're only available in like a couple colors. Um, and I really wanted this white wheel for this, for this look. So um, I decided even if it doesn't have foam, it's, it should be fine. Um, it's not the best performing tire, uh, but it should be pretty decent for what it is. It is just only a, uh, to me, a torque tuned motor in it. And the stock the tires are pretty similar. No foams in the stock tires either. These kind of give it a, a, a taller sidewall look and also make the, make the car overall slightly taller as well. Um, it fills out the wheel arch um, a lot better, I think, than the stock wheels. The stock wheels and tires are kind of low profile for my, for my taste, so this makes it look a lot better in my opinion um, and there's some details on this body that I quite like um, you can see it has the Subaru four-wheel drive sticker on the roof here 
and right here where it's supposed to say Volkswagen, it actually says Subaru. Um, because I thought it'd be weird that a Volkswagen Beetle would be four-wheel drive. So in this, in my little um, RC universe, I'm pretending that this is like a Subaru swapped Beetle or something with a Subaru all-wheel drive system and boxer motor. Um, so it also says Subaru on the hood here. You can see right there. And overall pretty happy with it. Some other miscellaneous decals and stuff to kind of cover up some scratches and whatnot. Um, one thing that's really annoying about all these Tamiya M chassis Beetle bodies is the taillights. Um, taillight stickers are pretty annoying. So what I ended up doing is I just kind of took a torch um, and kind of lightly warmed up these stickers, and then they'll kind of stick to the body a lot better. So that's a that's a big that's a that's a good tip for anyone that's having trouble with like the uh, the window trim stickers and stuff like that. That's a good uh, method to. Make sure those are kind of flat and doesn't peel up or anything. But we've talked about the, the car with the body on for quite a bit. So let's take the body off. And underneath the body is pretty standard um, MF01X. Uh, you can see I have the 20kg just Amazon Metal Gear Servo in there. I like the speed and strength of those so I, I put that in there. Also adds a little bit of weight for the, for the, for the car. Um, some foam donuts on the body mount so the body doesn't rattle around. This is the long wheelbase with the Beetle body, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, just a stock TBLE 02S speed control that I put in. Um, and then just a Red Cat receiver hooked up to my FlySky GT5 transmitter um, for the time being. And then the torque tuned Tamiya motor that is included with the kit. I also have the aluminum motor mount because the stock motor mount is pretty weak and if you're gonna be doing any sort of like rally off-road driving at decent speeds, um, the stock motor mount will break. Uh, so aluminum motor mount is definitely a suggested upgrade. Another suggested upgrade is the full ball bearing set that I put in here so it rolls nice and easy which is important, especially for something that's four wheel drive, has a lot of, dri of drivetrain loss. Um, so that will help a lot with the battery life and also the performance of the car. I also put the Tamiya CVA shocks. These are meant for the TT02 and TT01, but they fit on this car as well. Um, and just the springs that came with that. I might want softer springs a little bit, but this is the setup I have for, for right now. Um, as always, um, I'll tune it and stuff as time goes on and the more time I have behind the wheel of this thing. It still does have the Tamiya connector on it because I haven't had the chance to resolder um, new connectors. I have been slowly switching over all of my cars, even my Tamiya cars, into um, EC3 or IC3 connectors just because it's really easy to find um, batteries for that and just overall easier to work with than Tamiya connectors. I, I have used Tamiya connectors for the longest time, but just um, the IC3 and EC3 connectors are just less bulky overall um, and has a better connection. Uh, I don't, I'm not using like high power LiPo or like brushless setups or anything like that. So heat isn't usually an issue, but it's just for like convenience. And just to kind of consolidate all my batteries into a single uh, single battery type. So let's turn this guy on. One interesting thing I found out about the Flysky GT5 radio is with my Spectrum radio, I'm going to put this on the ground so we can see it drive around. Um, with the Spectrum radio, when you change the model, selection um the uh, the other models that are saved on that transmitter won't actually um connect won't, won't actually like function but with the fly sky transmitter any car that's bound to the memory of this transmitter will just will just function um, which is strange the only thing that the transmitter saves is the uh the model settings not the actual binding so that, i thought that was pretty interesting So quite a lot of body roll with the soft and tall tires, but that is very rally-esque, so I'm pretty happy about that. You're not even seeing it go. My bad. I'm 
No, I'm not really like a cameraman or anything like that. I'm just trying to have fun, uh, make records for myself. So I'm, I apologize for any shoddy camera work. But yeah, I, I really like how this thing handles um, with these uh, Traxxas tires a lot better than the stock Tamiya tires. Um, the Tamiya tires will give it a little sharper handling, but this gives it more of an off-road and rally car feeling. And it helps it go through the grass and stuff a lot easier as well. Uh, another thing is I built this. There's two ways you can build um, the, the suspension setup of this car. There is a low setup and a tall setup for like the trucks and SUVs. Um, the instructions will tell you to build this Beetle in the low setting. Um, but I went, ha went ahead and built it in the high like SUV setting. So that also increases ground clearance quite a bit. I love how it like picks up the front wheel a little bit at hard cornering. It's pretty Ooh. Ooh. That was unfortunate. I've never actually flipped one of these things over before. But I guess with the taller uh, ride height and uh, high grip tires, it's just bound to happen. The diffs aren't locked or anything. They're just open, just like stock. I won't really drive it super hard like I do like my sand scorcher or my lunchbox or anything because um, the bumpers on these beetle bodies are quite hard ABS plastic and they're quite brittle um, which is a little bit unfortunate. They're high detail but they are pretty brittle and will break pretty easily and I really don't want to break the bumpers on it. But it is handling like bumpy uh, bumpy pavement and going up my driveway and stuff like little hops without issues so that's quite fun um, if you want to see more about this vehicle or other vehicles that I have uh, on my channel you can always subscribe comment down below give me a like all that good YouTube shenanigans and I'm going to keep having fun with this beetle and I'll see you guys next time.